Hi, I'm David Dean, Pastures Officer with the Hunter Local Land Services. Uh, we're here today at the Singleton Pasture Demonstration Site with Kyle Roper. Kyle is the owner and manager of the site. We're looking forward to having a really good day today where we've got a lot of people expected to come and we've got a really good showcase of uh, pasture plants to, to talk about and a good range of speakers including uh, fencing and drones as well as all fertilisers and uh, cereals and grasses. I'll pass it over to Kyle and he can explain how the site works. G'day everyone, uh, yeah we're here at the local land services demonstration site as Dave said, uh, first field day for 2022 and uh, we've got a fair range of different topics to talk about today. Uh, the site here we've got over 300 uh, different varieties of, of different grasses, herbs, uh, legume options as well as mixes both perennial and annual and uh, yeah talking about the different management strategies of, of how to manage those pastures and, and what may fit in for you know a short-term feed gap or a, or a longer-term option. Um, obviously the local area has, has suffered uh, from some pretty heavy uh, rainfall events in the past six months and um, that's been a big topic uh, that's about getting pastures back up and running and, and improving your management to do that whether it be with fertilizers or methods of sowing um, and, and how we do that. Today we've got uh, Lion Ag Drone Solutions here uh, doing some demonstrations on, on how they fit into the picture. Uh, with that wet weather up the north coast there was a hell of a lot of pasture uh, seed sown this year with that uh, kind of method using drones or helicopters. Uh, we've also got Gallagher um, here talking about cattle uh, weighing and EID systems as well as electric fencing systems along with all our uh, seed reps that have helped put this site together I guess and provide us with the, the seed to sow these plots. So uh, we're looking forward to a really great day. Um, we've had great registration numbers for I think people pretty much find this a pretty good day to come and socialise with other like-minded farmers and, and growers. We get a really good cross-section of uh, the farming community right across from uh, high intensive dairy industries right through to lifestylers at the site. I would like to mention that the, uh, Kyle's done a wonderful job. This site has been flooded four times in the last 12 months. Uh, the last one being in March which completely covered this whole whole paddock. Yeah, no, it's been a been a very interesting uh, 12 months uh, to say the least about uh, between flooding and COVID issues. It's, uh, we've managed to get back on top of it and, and show the resilience of I guess the, the agricultural community at hand and, and that's what we're here for today as well. Um, we've got Kale and Souda coming today as well and obviously the support from the local land services and the different areas where they can assist. So very topical stuff that's going to get spoken about today and, and relevant to, to what we're what we've been dealing with uh, locally and you know great to see registrations from you know places like Bathurst and, and Western Sydney as well as Taree, Merriwar, Scone, so very you know Dungog, Gresford, all those areas, so a very wide array of different growers and different situations all finding this information relevant so anyway look forward to a great day and, and thanks for uh, coming. Thanks very much. Is that